Welcome to Road to Ride, guys, and this is How to Fly Backwards with Cricket. Been, we've probably been friends for two years, two and a half yeah, years. It's, it's coming up two years. Two years. Yep, I think so. So, what do you want to learn from us, from me today? What do you want me to teach you? Backwards flying. Backwards yeah. flying. So, people, everybody says, oh, he just gets lucky. He's just lucky doing this. What do you think? Is it luck? Yeah, it's a little bit of luck. It's a little bit of luck. <laughs> no. This guy, this guy. We're about to show you how to blow your quad up real quick from the back side. Usually how I like to teach it is like, we're going to go through a set of trees and we're just going to keep an eye on like what, what we're going past, all right? We're going to do this area right here. So we're coming through here. We see the trees on our left and our right. We're going to come back this way. We're going to try to stay centered, backwards. Just carry it back, nice throttle control. Done. We'll try it again, we'll go back and do it again. So we come right back through the center of these again. Back on the side of this. Back this way. Don't forget, stay super centered, y'all. Keep that control going back. Done. And then once you get a little more comfortable, you can just start going through, you know, just you want to just practice sometimes around like something like this in the open field and just carry it backwards. Get that control where once you lock it in, it's in the right spot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I'll just do one more over here and I'll bring it backwards back to us. We're just gonna keep on coming back, keep on coming back. Is anybody in the way? Not good. And then you can add tricks like this into it, back around, and then reverse. Oh, mm -hmm. tree. Oh. Oh, let's see it. Now we're. Oh, no, oh. No, uh, okay. We knew it was coming now. We knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the idea. So, like, the more centered that you are, and once you make that initial y'all, you're going to have a locking point. You don't need to go super far back. You just right. want to be just enough so that you can still see the ground in front of you, still see the trees, and see everything above you. Yeah. So, whenever you're coming close to a tree, the shadow is kind of in front of you. Okay. So, you can tell when you're getting ready to hit it because the shadow is falling right, coming to that like angle point of where it's going to be the trunk of the tree. Oh, cool. So that's one way to tell as well. You haven't flown HD yet? No, I haven't flown HD yet. You he actually, had, I bought one. He like, has a kit. A week hasn't ago. Even flown. We're about to blow this guy's <laughs> mind. We're I don't want to mess that hair up. You know how long that probably takes, guys? See this? Short buzz cut, baby. Throw a cap on top. You can't even put a head on that. Always with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time ever since I've met him that he's going to mess his hair up. Oh! 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 oh. There you go. You like Sonic the Hedgehog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to do is just have you go through that, that same line, mm -hmm. just straight. Not doing any type of turn or anything, just go through it straight two or three times just to get comfortable with what you're going to see coming back and just do it, alright? Okay. Crazy, right? Oh my right? god, this is nuts. <laughs> yeah, I can see everything. <laughs> I don't know if I could go back to Antelope. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get mine built like, tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> so yeah, just go all the way through, through this and then we'll turn around and come back through the area. All right, go ahead and make a U-turn now. Right there, okay, you see that opening right there, straight ahead? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and make a turn around the light post and then go right back through the center right there, yep. So you see how wide open it is? Yep. You see your two trees, your main trees that you're gonna have to worry about are the ones, the two right when you come into this little tunnel. And I mean, I could teach you in an open field, but it's nothing like actually having objects passing you. So now let's go ahead and once we, we wanna be dead center with those sets of trees right there. And then we're gonna do, just do a yaw, just do a 360 yaw spin, okay? Right through the center of there. Keep going it around. Oh, oh, okay, he's gonna go right to going backwards. Keep it, oh, okay. All right, hey, hey, Ron. Okay. Oh, he's getting crazy, all right. Woo. All right, <laughs> okay. Let's try that one more time. I mean, he pretty much nailed that. This time, make it a smooth transition from the actual y'all spin right into it. Try to keep that throttle locked in, not, not a bunch of variations in throttle. And just lean it back, lean it back. Now start going towards the right a little bit because there's a tree. Oh, oh, okay. 
All right, all right. Let's try one more time. <laughs> but you see, if you come into a, if you come into a crooked, you're going to be crooked the whole way. All right. So the main part is to come through the center of that lined up. I mean, you pretty much got it, man. Like once you get that yaw and get it locked in. So. So come on through your center, yaw it out, lock it in. Oops. Just keep, keep just hold it, cause you'll get used to it. There you go. That's perfect. Hold that. And just keep holding that. Just keep getting that that nice. Okay, bring it up a little bit. Oh. Okay. So mm -hmm. in this case, just go straight through those woods there. Let's step it up a little bit. Actually, make the right. We're going towards the pavilion. Yeah. And the tree right next to it, that's where we want to come through. All right. So now we're going to do the exact same yaw technique as soon as we get underneath the pavilion. Now go uh, ahead and yaw now. Keep going. Keep it going. Yes. All right. That's perfect, dude. That's perfect. All right. Now let's come. We're going to yaw earlier than what you did that time. Mm -hmm. Pretty much as soon as you come through the front of it, you're going to yaw. Go right through the center. Don't forget, line yourself up nice and straight. Oh, well, get yourself back on track. Oh, wait. Which way are we going to? Through, right way? between those trees. Yep. All right. Pick your speed up a little bit and let's yaw right now. Oh, oh, oh that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's start over again. I'm nervous right before That's, I yaw. Yep, don't, don't be nervous. The <laughs> worst thing you'll do is crash. And it's not even your quad, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so. All right, y'all now. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh. oh. So I'm going to flip you back over. We'll try it again, but I think you got that pretty nailed down. When you come in, you want to stay higher than okay. lower. So you don't want to be eye level or a little over eye level with the picnic tables. You want to be up in the middle a little bit. So once you make that y'all spin, you're going to be coming. You're just going to bring you down some. You know, so you're not okay. worried about your height and the y'all spent at the same time. If you start high, the y'all's gonna be easy. So like I said, stay a little higher than the picnic table and we're gonna y'all spin right, right now. Keep it coming backwards. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's okay. Uh, All right, let's do it again. You were perfectly high, high enough and you just sank a little bit and then you were right there, but then you kind of got freaked out. Don't be nervous. I can tell you're nervous just from your stick movement. <laughs> Oops. There you go, you're good. Now y'all it out right now. Keep it going. Keep it going backwards, keep it going backwards, keep it going, there you go, all right, perfect. Once you get comfortable with being backwards and coming through something backwards, it's perfect. You see how starting off higher makes it easier? Yeah. Because then you can check your elevation and fix your elevation as you're going through it. Oh. Carry a little bit more speed too. All right, y'all spin now. Keep it going, keep it up, keep it up, keep it going, 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 keep it going. perfect. I'm excited, bro. <laughs> Are you excited, does it feel good, it right? It feels real good. It makes it, it's I'm not, nervous it's, still, you're I'm still, still nervous. nervous. <laughs> You see how it's easier if you go faster? Yeah. Let's pick up some more speed, some more speed, some more speed, some more speed. All right. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. The hell are you there, man? Now you can just start putting that into all the rest. And that's probably as difficult as you're going to get going backwards is right there through something like that. And that's what I was saying. By you starting up higher, you have time to drop into that locked in position. If you start low, then it's harder trying to get that locked yeah, in position. Sense. Perfect how you're doing it too, because you're coming in right about here. Right. And as you make that y'all and you're coming this way, now you're getting pulled down. And then you have time, you have about three and a half feet to figure out where that locked in position is and to hold it. So, I mean, that was, and I liked how when you came through that last one, you were a little off. Right. But you right corrected there, yourself a little bit at the end, and that'll start becoming second major. As you see both these poles coming through, and all, now, now all of a sudden they don't look as even on the both sides of me, and then you can easily just cruise over a little bit, straighten yourself out. That was good, man. That's, that's, that's damn good, bro. It was nerve wracking at first. <laughs> Why was so it I just, I just didn't know where I was going. <laughs> if you keep going through the same object, then you get more and more comfortable. So what do you think between the combination of backwards flying with the DJI unit? Well, what's nice is I could see everything. I mean, when we were going on underneath the pavilion, I was almost could just count like all the slats <laughs> going underneath. Uh, and seeing all the grain, it was just crazy. More right? confidence with it? More confidence. You know, when we were lining things up, I could see where I'm going. It's not like a big blob or anything. After today, I'm going to put it in. <laughs> I, I'm going to build it tonight. It's going to be. <laughs> so those are the steps. That's how it's done, people. It's not like magic. I, I wish it was, because I taught him in like two easy, three easy steps. But I mean, the most thing is just like I said, confidence, guys. Confidence. Know what you can do. Practice as much as possible. The more confidence you have in going backwards through anything, even in open fields, just makes you more comfortable and more comfortable. And make it easier for you.